So first, what is Yang? Yang is a hierarchical data modeling language for network management. Now that is a packed statement. Um, hierarchical data modeling language. Uh, so what is a data modeling language? It models data. It's data modeling languages are lower level, lower level than information models. A UML might be considered an informational model. It's um, hierarchical in the sense that you can see in the diagram on the right, um, a, a binary tree. It looks like a binary tree, but it's actually an binary. So this notion of um, a hierarchy of configuration and operational state that are connected together um, through uh, hierarchical relationships. And it is specific to network management, which is uh, unique. Uh, and and what, what's unique about this is it, it distinguishes between configuration and operational state. In the uh, diagram, you can see the green nodes represent configuration and the blue nodes represent operational state. And there's distinct relationships between these kinds of nodes. A configuration node can only be a descendant of another configuration node. Whereas, um, and but it can never be a descendant of an operational state node. And that's because operational state nodes come and go, they're transient or ephemeral, and, and therefore having configuration underneath them would not make sense. Um, <clears throat> but this ability to uh, um, annotate the nodes as to whether or not they're configuration or operational state is uh, somewhat unique uh, in the various data modeling languages exist. So, it's unlike what you might find in uh, XSD, the XML schema definition, or JSON schema, or ASN.1, or ABNF, um, any of those other data modeling language, uh, they don't have this notion of actually identifying what uh, bits of data are representing configuration versus what bits represent operational state. Additionally, you'll see in the diagram, there's uh, red and orange nodes. Uh, the red nodes are representing actions. So these would be, for instance, remote procedure calls where you can uh, execute a function, uh, for instance, uh, to re reboot a device or restore it to its factory default. Um, whereas a notification is an, a one-way asynchronous uh, message that is sent to uh, you know, listening clients and, and alerts them as to uh, activities that are occurring or events that are occurring within the system. You'll notice that the actions and notifications may be underneath configuration or operational state nodes. Um, and also they may be global. On the, on the left hand side, you'll see there can be global level uh, RPCs or uh, actions, um, and, as well as global level notifications. So in addition to having this unique uh, characteristic of distinguishing uh, configuration from operational state, Yang, as a data modeling language, defines both syntax and semantics. So the syntax would be, for instance, the structure of the tree, the, the form of the hierarchy. The semantics is, is more about how the various nodes in the tree relate to each other. There are two kinds of semantics. There's a simple and complex. Uh, by simple, you could imagine uh, regular expressions. Uh, if there's a, a value that is a, a string, um, but the string has to conform to a certain regular expression, uh, has a, you know, begins with, has a certain format. Um, those, that's an example of some simple semantics. Uh, complex semantics are when uh, an actual Boolean expression is used to say, well, this configuration node is only possible, um, or, or, or this value must be a certain, uh, conform to a certain constraint. Uh, relative to the existence of other configurations that are, are you know, in that are defined, um, or or uh, there's though that would be what's known as a must expression. There's also what's called when expressions, which is to say this configuration node is only configurable when another uh, attribute within the configuration is set. Um, the ability to specify both the syntax and the semantics in one data model, I believe, is a superpower of Yang. Um, is any data architect might uh, convey the it you know it, trying to express the semantics outside of the data model is complex. It would typically be um, asked of the programming language code to put those kinds of extra constraints on top of the data model, but because it's built into Yang, it allows them to be connected and 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 therefore um, it's easier to express and, and to um, enforce. 
Yang has a, vit, a rich vocabulary. It was uh, originally published as RFC 6020, but that's been obsoleted and now it says 7950. Um, and it's currently being used as we'll discuss in upcoming slides. Yang uh, as a data modeling language doesn't exist uh, in its, by itself. It's, it's um, actually within an ecosystem. Um, the ecosystem as, as a whole is primarily managed by the IETF, the NetMod and NetConf working groups I mentioned before. But um, the ecosystem has, uh, there's other parts to it than just the data modeling language. For instance, the data needs to exist in conceptual data stores. And so that's the, uh, the network management data store architecture, NMDA, uh, and we'll discuss that on an upcoming slide. Um, but also clients need to know what Yang modules are supported by the various servers that they're connecting to. Uh, and, and that's a, a discoverability mechanism that's provided by Yang library. We'll discuss that as well. And then next, the clients need to be able to map the data to line wire formats. And, and so there's a discussion of uh, encodings. Is it uh, going to be XML or JSON or uh, various binary encodings? And then lastly, clients need to use the uh, network to convey the information uh, you know, between the orchestrators or the controllers to the servers that they're managing, and hence the protocols. And so Yang as a data model language exists within this ecosystem and the entire ecosystem is, is what's important uh, with Yang. Uh, 